the point of impact. Tonight, investigators want to know how it happened. Eyewitness News reporter Lucy Yang is in East Brunswick, New Jersey, with our lead story. Lucy? Well, Sandra and Joe, the road is still closed. Workers still on the scene behind me as investigators try to figure out how and why the driver so tragically lost control here. Tonight, we're learning the victims were members of the Young Israel Synagogue and were walking home for lunch when they were struck and killed. A horrible double fatal accident this afternoon in East Brunswick, New Jersey. It happened at the intersection of Dunham's Corner Road and Hardenburg Lane. Residents say the victims had just left their Sabbath service and were walking home from the synagogue on this brilliant fall day when a car crashed into them, killing the couple on the spot. The husband's legs severed. The wife's body, we're told, tossed into the bushes. It's unbelievable how people just speed all the time in this, in this neighborhood. And you got a lot of pedestrians that walk in and walk in. Several neighbors claim the driver was speeding and trying to cut a right turn before the light turned red when the car jumped the curb, killing the victims on the sidewalk and taking down a utility pole. Fellow members of the synagogue tell me the victims were walking with their adult son and another couple when tragedy struck. We are still waiting to learn if the others were hurt. Police report the driver was critically injured. Uh, he was trying to rush before the, the light get red, and he just ran over the sidewalk. And, you know, two of the family get killed. It's just horrible that people don't watch what they're doing. Now, residents complain that a year and a half ago, three pedestrians were struck on this very same stretch of roadway. They survived, but all this underscores the need for more lights to slow down the traffic here. We're live in East Brunswick, New Jersey tonight. Lucy Yang, Channel 7 eyewitness news. Lucy.